back at this Kawasaki 340. I think we'll start off with taking these spark plugs out and get this sheet metal off. There's just some 10 millimeters and it looks like, uh, I don't know, 12 or 14 here. And I'm missing one. Um, so yeah, get that off. Alright, got the spark plugs off and I got this upper tin off and I'm going to use some Ziploc bags to put all of this hardware in so I don't lose it. And then I'll just take a sharpie and just put like upper tin. Alright. I think next up we'll take this exhaust manifold off. So there's four nuts that hold that on. And it looks like they're 13 millimeter. And there's some lock washers behind those. All right, up next we'll take this recoil cup off. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold that on. All right, I'll take this plastic cover off. Just some Phillips heads. Get this belt off here. Alright, up next we'll get this flywheel off so there's a couple tabs will bend out of the way here. Alright, so 24 millimeter feels like it fits in there. And we'll use Big Bertha here. Alright, so now we'll get a flywheel puller on this thing. Alright, up next we'll get this flywheel off. I got our puller all set up. Uh, if you don't have one of these pullers, I'd highly recommend getting one. I think they're around 100 bucks, but they're worth every penny. Uh, I've tried removing flywheels in the past with cheaper units, but it's just not worth it. So we're gonna, gonna use this, and I think. Uh, I think we're all set here, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll use Big Bertha. Put a link in the description for this bad boy. Okay, she got the the flywheel loose, but I can't get it out. It looks like I have to take this casing off here, so we'll, we'll do that now. There's some nuts behind here. 
All right, got the side cover off. And now we can go ahead and get this flywheel off. And there's some teeth on it. That's why it wasn't coming off when this side cover was on. So there's our flywheel. And there's the magneto here. And I believe this line right here is supposed to line up with this little piece right here, if you can see that. Okay, so it looks like there's two Phillips head that holds this on, so we'll go ahead and get that off. All right, we'll go ahead and get this magneto off with the impact screwdriver. If you don't have one, I highly suggest you get one of these. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in buying one. All right, those are loose. So this crank seal looks good too. Interesting. Well, either way, this thing needed to be torn down and just to, you know, going through. So it's not a waste of time by any means. All right, now I think what we'll do is go ahead and take these Heads and uh, actually, we'll go take the intake off next, and then after that, we can take the cylinder heads and the cylinders off. All right, got the intake off, um, so you can see the through the intake port here. The pistons actually look pretty decent. Okay. Let's see, I think we'll take the cylinder heads and cylinders off next. All right, there's, a, there's the cylinder head. Actually, it's really clean. And here's the... The bore actually looks pretty good too. Yeah, it looks decent. All right, got the other head off. That was just as clean as the other one, and that cylinder actually looks pretty good too. So now these cylinders should just they should come off. Yeah, these cylinders look pretty decent. There's no heavy scoring. There's kind of glaze where they might need a light hone or something. But overall, not bad. The 
This one's the same shape. All right, up next, we'll go ahead and split this crankcase. So they're 13 millimeter. All right, got all the case bolts out. Now we gotta try to split this case. bottom half right here. Not too bad. There's our crank. And those O-rings that I showed you in part one, they go on the bearings here. And they're not really meant to seal, they're just meant to stop the bearing from rotating in the case. Um, so yeah, there looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. I ordered nine, just in case I broke a few putting them on. Uh, they're like a buck a piece, so. There's our crank seal. That still looks pretty decent. Oh, this one, not so much. Can, there's a little bit of wear in there. And got a little bit of I might go ahead and replace those crank bearings. Okay, so there is uh, a couple washers here that need to be aware of. There's one over here too. So we got this thing broken down today. Um, I think that's gonna be all for this video. Stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching.